Sorry, there's a shadow on my face. I use natural lighting and I'm doing my best. Sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shauna Ruth. <laughs> Thank you for watching, clicking on the vid or whatever. <laughs> the casting of a killer aka John Paul or Paul John Knowles um so yeah let's hop right into this John Knowles was born April 17th 1946 in Orlando Florida his first crime was when he was seven years old and he stole a bike savage and then up until he was 19 he was doing petty things like stealing little things from stores and whatnot and then when he turned 19 it escalated to kidnapping an officer which is pretty daggone wild if you ask me. And then he was in and out of jail for the next eight years of his life. In 1974, while he was incarcerated in Florida State Prison, um, he was writing letters back and forth to Angela Savitz. I don't know how you say her last name. After a few letters back and forth, they had fallen in love and Angela somehow got him a lawyer and got him out on parole. And they were set to meet in San Francisco and then get married. However, when Angela first met Knowles, she claimed that he had a bad aura and a couple days before they had met, she said that her um, psychic told her that a dangerous man would recently enter her life. So when she met him, it confirmed everything and she called off the wedding. That same night, um, Knowles killed three random strangers in San Francisco streets. The next day, he went to Jacksonville and was at a bar and ended up fighting the bartender um, and pulled a knife on him during the fight and was arrested. But he didn't stay long because he picked the cell, he picked the lock on his cell and escaped prison. After he escaped jail that night, he ended up killing 65 year old retired teacher Alice Curtis and he was trying to rob her but ended up murdering her. And he tied her up and gagged her and she ended up choking on her own dentures and she died. Knowles left in Alice's car and was looking for a place to dump it. That's when he ran into 11 year old Lillian Anderson and 7 year old Milette Anderson. I hope I'm saying my Milette right. Um, and he thought that and he thought that they would identify him so he kidnapped them and killed them and dumped their bodies in a swamp and apparently um, it was very easy for him to get his big like it was very easy for women to like talk to him because he was very charming and apparently at the time he was good looking and over half of his victims were women and the rest of them were gay men. And no one really knows what his sexuality was. I mean, why does it matter? But I mean, he did kill gay men. So maybe he hated gay men or maybe he was gay and didn't like it. And he just lashed out on gay men. I don't know. But um, he killed the women because they, they were easy for him to attract because he was so charming and so good looking. He would shoot some and he would strangle some and he would rape some before and after they had passed. Um, so... The police didn't really have much to go off of because they were so random and so like different every time because most serial killers um, kill at the same place, get their victims from the same place, and kill the exact same way every time. But with the Casanova killer, he killed every victim different most of the time. He strangled the majority of them, and but like they all came from different locations, and you know, so it was hard for the police to. Um, track down the person that was doing it. John Paul Knowles killed in at least six different states in the U.S. and well that we know of and the states are Georgia, Texas, Florida, Ohio, Nevada, Alabama, Connecticut, and Virginia but there could be more because you know there could be more because he confessed to killing more people than the police had like discovered so there could be more states. So the police didn't know to look for, they didn't have any leads, they they didn't know if they were looking for a serial rapist or just a random guy that murders people or like a gunman or they still, they just didn't have anything to go off of. So Sandy Fox, a reporter at the time, gave the police the only real lead that they had had. Um, I hope I'm saying her last name right. Two weeks before Knowles was arrested, he um, picked up Sandy Fox in a bar and they spent three days together traveling around. Um, and she said that she never saw any red flags. He never did anything to harm her or never acted like he wanted to harm her. And people don't understand why he didn't because most of the people that he killed were women, but um, there are theories that say that he didn't because he knew that she was a reporter and he wanted to show her his good side so he could, so she could write like better about him. Like, does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, 
November 17th, Knowles was pulled over by Officer Charles Campbell, and Knowles somehow managed to get to Officer Campbell's gun and took him hostage and then took um, his patrol car. And then Knowles pulled someone else over and took them both hostage and then drove to a remote area, took them into the woods, tied them to a tree, and killed them both. And then Knowles left in the other car, not the not the patrol car, but the like regular car. When Knowles was leaving the scene, he lost control of the car and ended up hitting a tree and police were after him, dogs were chasing after him, helicopters were in the sky, and obviously they had found the two men murdered and tied to a tree, so they were looking for him. And ultimately, Knowles made it out of the perimeter of the manhunt, but he ended up running into a man with a shotgun and the man ended up turning him into the police. And that's when Knowles confessed to killing at least 35 women, but the police already knew about 20. And police attempted to take him back to some of the crime scenes to find out more information. Ronnie Angel and Sheriff Earl Lee guided him around uh, some of the crime scenes. And while they were driving, um, Knowles attempted to take Earl Lee's gun off of his hip in the car. And um, while they were wrestling, the gun went off. And while Lee and uh, Knowles were struggling, um, Ronnie Angel shot Knowles in the chest three times, killing him instantly. Um, the reasons why um, Knowles killed was never discovered and not all of his victims had been found, sadly. But in 2011, a cold case um, came about and they tried to connect it to Knowles as 13 year old Ima Sanders. She disappeared in 1974 in Georgia and so his killing spree, his killing spree was around 1974 and some of it took part in Georgia. So they're trying to connect him to it, um, but they found her remains in Georgia. Investigators have not confirmed that they are connected. They just reasonably are confident that they that Knowles did have something to do with her disappearance. All right, guys, I think that's all that I have for you today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if I left out any important information, leave it in the comments. And I will leave all the links uh, down below to my social medias and where I found my information. Subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.